today we are going to discuss about demographic transition a fundamental model developed to describe population dynamics in the demographic transition model this model shows how the population has been growing in human society the model possessed four stages in the evolution of the population in a society the first stage that is pre industrialization it has high fertility and high mortality it means that <clears throat> there was a large number of birth and the large number of death also you might have seen in the earlier phases there was a very large scale wars multiple wars were fought between different kingdoms so there was a large scale death also there was no contraception so there was a very high fertility also people were dependent on agriculture so they were producing more number of childs then second stage is high fertility and declining mortality this was case with industrialization due to the event of the industrialization there was a large increase in the number of the health care services and sanitation facilities so people there was although there was a high fertility but this was declining there was a number of death was declining because you might have seen that after industrialization there was least number of wars being fought still the number of death was high due to the world war first world war second and uh, many other small scale wars then there was third stage declining fertility and low mortality this was the phase of post industrialization when there was increase in better healthcare facilities and the people started using contraceptive and the the new keeping family a small, a small size family is more beneficial so the concept of family planning also evolved during this period and the people started to manage their babies children's number of babies so last stage that is the fourth stage is the low fertility low mortality this is the stable population phase in which there will be controlled number of birth and uh, death will decline drastically so this is more prevalent in most of the developed countries of modern age so we have seen that the first phase pre industrial prevailed throughout the world prior to the past few centuries rapid population growth takes place in a stage 2 and 3 because high birth rate necessary for population survival in stage 1 are embedded in the cultural religious economic and political fabric of pre modern societies as economic and political health advances it leads to decrease in mortality rate A rapid population growth occurs until the society adjusts to the new realities and control the fertility this demographic transition model was constructed from the european experience in which the decline in death rate was gradual it remains to be seen how this model will play important role in developing countries of today world in which the decline in death rate has occurred much more rapidly than the control in the birth rate social changes takes place against a backdrop of interaction with the post industrial world of the economic communication multinational production and marketing There is some evidence that the model will also apply to the developing world of today but the time table for the completion of the demographic transition in, in developing countries will determine the ultimate size of the world's population